fancy, fancy, crazy color hair color. Eek. Hey everyone, today I have a haul covering two different places. Number one, Sally's Beauty Supply. Haven't been there in about a million years, so it was interesting to revisit that place. And then number two, a place that I go to all too often, Target. I know, but I didn't get that much stuff, so I don't know how that would be good for you. But it's kind of good for me. It's okay. Nah. Side issue that is totally out of my control, my Target now stays open till midnight. I was there and I noticed it was like 11.05 and I was like, what? And I could only see like employee people around in the aisles and I started to kind of panic on the inside like, oh my gosh, I didn't hear them say that the store was closing and somehow I'm here and, then, and it's totally closed and they're just cleaning up and woo! Like, you know, like, oh, I'm gonna have to sleep here or something like that. Like the kids that slept in the museum. I don't know. I don't want to stay at Target overnight. I had a panicky moment and then I just kind of like kept going and I went to the register and they informed me that no, they stay open till midnight now because it used to be 11. I swear they're out to get me. They know the power they have. Anyway, let's look at Sally's first because I don't know, it's uh, rare that I go to Sally's. It's kind of like a moment. I got a wet brush. So I was hearing about it for a while and then I was at a salon that I'd never been to about a month or two ago and they used it on my hair after my hair was wet. And basically, if you haven't heard of it, it's, it's just like a different kind of bristle that's supposed to be super, super good for brushing out wet hair. I like to let my hair kind of air dry for a while before I start brushing it and towel dry as well and I put it up in the turby twist, but brushing your hair wet at all is really bad. And my Mine is lightened to blonde and so it's like it needs all the help it can get so I decided to try this I really like my tangle teaser but I figured hey every little bit helps so I haven't used it obviously but I've heard good things it says it's perfect on wigs and extensions <laughs> basically it's just like super 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 flexible haven't used it yet so I can't exactly review it but I'm excited to try it next up I got this one and only argan oil hydrating mask and pretty much the only reason I got this was because I asked the employee at Sally's what her recommendation was and she said that she'd use this one and she really liked it whoa it looks really thick it smells good I used to use this brand's argan oil for my hair and so I, I remember this scent I feel like my hair needs some help and I just finished a whole big like hair mask tub and so I needed to get another one and we'll see how that one works I also got this and it's the plugged in wet look shower comb ideal for detangling and distributing conditioner through wet hair I got this to use with this and other conditioners the woman that colors my hair suggested that I get one of these and this one is like perfect for like hanging in the shower so hopefully it works haven't tried it yet unfortunately usually I do hauls and I do like mini reviews along the way this one a little bit different okay here's where things get a little bit weird in my Sally's purchases I went ahead and bought three shades of the color brilliance brights crazy color hair color and it's just semi-permanent and if you've been watching my channel a long time you'll remember when I did my whole like pink hair dip dye situation and I was kind of thinking about doing something a lot like that again I'm not sure I don't have a game plan and clearly I haven't executed it I have tested out this pink one a bunch of you noticed in a recent video I had like this random pink chunk just because I was testing this one out haven't tested these two out. This one is rose and then this one lavender and then fuchsia. I only got one fuchsia, but then I got like three lavenders and three roses and I don't have a game plan, but I got a bowl, a brush, and a big thing of conditioner if I want to dilute any of the colors. I didn't want to like spring that on you, so I decided to just show you. I'm probably not going to make a video about me actually doing that because that like makes me kind of crazy. Eek. We'll see. Maybe I will get someone to help me. Maybe I should make a video about it. I don't know. What do you think? I was thinking like dip dye but multicolors and kind of like smash it all together because it's all kind of like pinky purpley so it's not like it'll look weird. So should I be my little pony? Because that's what I'm thinking. Your thoughts. I need them. I don't need them. I want them. Keep them if you have to have them. 
And next up, I've got Target. And I think I only have like three things to show you, so not that crazy. First up, I have this little, I don't even know what you call this. It's just kind of like this sheer a little over thing. And it's kind of see-through and it's got roses and it's got all this like fancy, fancy fringe action. I'm a curtain. And then it's kind of just like short sleeves. I wear this like over like a tank top or some kind of like little dress or something like that. Very cute, not exactly a fall piece, but I don't think we're in danger of any kind of cool weather anytime soon. So I went for it. Next up, I got this top, which is really cute. And I think it's just gonna be kind of like a comfy, like where to work kind of shirt. It's got this really cute print on it and these little like see-through lines. I don't know, how to, I don't know what you call that. Casual work wear kind of boring but very cute and last I have this a really cute dress and it's gray and when I picked it out I was like oh yeah this will be great for work when it starts to get a little cooler which pff, might be a million years from now but when I tried it on I was like I don't know if this is work appropriate at all because it is extremely fitted and it is pretty short the brand is Massimo but I did not get in the junior section for once in my life and the really really cute part about it is that it's like all ruched on the side and there's this little like sexy zipper action i don't even know that's the part that's like um i don't know guys if i can wear this to work that's i don't know guys me talking to myself i don't know, I don't know. it's really cute i like it like when it gets cooler i think like with black tights and maybe boots or something that would be so nice okay i am not looking forward to cold weather but for just a second I was. That was weird. Moving on. Just kidding, not moving on because I don't have any more stuff to show you. That was actually kind of fast. Go me. If you have any comments or questions or whatever, comment down below. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, Google Plus, everywhere. It's Leanne Says. I'll put the links down below in the description. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I would love to have you come back again and again. And if you are subscribed, thank you. You are my people and I love you. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. P.S. Anyone remember this hairstyle from like a few years ago, how I used to wear it every single day of my life? Thumbs up if you remember that because you've been with me forever. Thumbs up to you. Oh my gosh. Ooh la la. Or should I just chop all my hair off and be a bald girl, right? I don't know. This is as close as I get to like a nude lip because it's kind of, it's a little bit more like a peachy kind of rosy nude. So that's why it's good for me. I feel like nude lips just like never look good on me. But lately I've just been loving everybody wearing their like beigey brownie nudie.